Hey guys, Gamer of Gamers in the Zone, and welcome to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we went through a um, this entire ridiculously long mine shaft, and eventually managed to make it to the bottom, where we went and confronted, um, we went and confronted one of the metal heads. I believe it was like. Jorn, something like that. I still don't remember the name. I didn't pay close enough attention to the last recording, but um, nonetheless, you're probably wondering why I didn't exactly take the time to um, do any like quests or grinding. That's because um, I didn't fully plan out my next move since, you know, um, the next story event happens with this quick exit to the mines. So I didn't exactly factor that part, meaning that um, I still haven't properly leveled up. Nonetheless, uh, we'll go ahead and continue forward and see where we go from here. Good. Works perfectly. We're taking the elevator. What did I say? We're all impressed. Yeah, and you actually managed to defeat a metalhead. Well done, everyone. Maybe not the metal head we were after, but we got one of them. Hey, why have we stopped? I don't know, but I think we're about to find out. I mean, yes, we're about to fight a wave of enemies. Ah, it's Zerg! <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw... I was sort of thinking that Ether River wouldn't be enough. I guess correctly. Though it doesn't look like the um, red energy is around him, meaning that... Hold on, I couldn't exactly hear that. Um, let me... Allows ordinary weapon to damage mech on. Oh, I just realized, too, that, um... He no longer has the, the resistance against the, um... Against our powers. Oh, it's going very well, Shulk. Don't worry about it. J just do that. Then, extra damage... Bam. So he doesn't have the, um... Ooh. Yeah, take that. But yeah, without your little, um... The Berserk boost. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound very good. Yeah, so he's still resistant to the, um... Can't exactly hear what you're saying there, buddy. Might have to turn up the volume a little bit. Hold on. It might sound a bit louder from the microphone end of this, and that is because I... <clears throat> why can't I... Did I choose to heal? Also, why didn't I heal my ally? I had better give him the uh, defense, because... He could use some defense. He better not be targeting him. He's targeting him, isn't he? Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Alright, heal him. Heal him, heal him, heal him. Alright, he's targeting me. Okay, chain attack time. Alright, do it. That, break him. Topple him. Damage him highly. Okay, and then get ready to um, inflict days. All right, let's get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. That takes care of him, folks. Okay, now he's. Oh, take that. Oh, it is a very good thing I equipped Gadolt's rifle, because that makes it feel even more satisfying that I equipped Gadolt's rifle last episode. The weapon of a man he killed is what kills him back. It's over. I still didn't pay full attention to his name. I mean, we got his health down to zero, so that should have killed him. Me 
Yeah, and I would have anyway. What do you know about the Minato? Yeah. Of course. You'll have to find out the truth on your own. Figures. The truth. When I became what you see now. That's when my eyes were opened. What? It was a good ride while it lasted. Eyes were open to what? When you became like this. What do you mean? Yeah, what's going on? What? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, that's a big, massive explosion right there. But yeah, I beat one without releasing the true power of the Monado. I can beat them all without be releasing the true power of the Monado, because I can just keep toppling them. Keep getting some power. They'll all go down. We smashed that bronze in yet. <laughs> we got them all right. Does that mean we can finally head back to Colony Six? Are you okay? Oh, he's still not up yet. Where are we? Just outside Colony Six. And we beat the metalhead. Alright. Shook, Ryan. I didn't mean to cause any more trouble running off like that. Forget about it, kid. We settled the score. Yeah, we got him. Yes. But there's still no sign of that Mekon with the metal face. He's the one we're really after. Yeah. yeah. Let's get him. Oh, is that him? Oh, that's him. Alright, let's get him. Oh, there's... How many of them are there? Oh, Zord, okay. Oh, why didn't you talk before then? Oh, he's taunting him. Oh, you are going down, buddy. Ah. Weren't you, like, level 10 before? What level are you now? Alright, listen, I know how to topple mech on like you. You're going down this time. Yes, but toppling can stop you. <laughs> Sorry to ruin the moment. Come on. Who's doing that now? Ooh! Dixon! Finally entered the party, huh? Ooh, oh, yes. Oh, he's getting them good. He doesn't even need the Minato. He's just slicing them up. Oh, oh, don't forget to organize the party. The party formation box is shown... Uh, whenever there is a change to the traveling party, with the window visible, select main menu and press A to display the menu, letting you rearrange the party for battle. Oh, so I can select my party members now. Okay, that's really nice. Uh, let me see, how powerful are these guys? Oh, Dixon's level 30, and um, Dunban is level 20... In, in bravery mode, it seems, so... 
Alright, I'm gonna have to just this once remove Charla and replace him with Dixon. Um because Dixon's at a very high level right now. And I think I'll keep Shulk and Ryan in the party. In this specific case. Wait, what does it mean by Oh, it means the level up style, that's what it means. Um but just this one, since I don't know how high of a level Metalhead is, I'm going to have Dixon in the party, because he's all the way up to level 30. Also because I never had Dixon in the party before. I'll keep my uh, good old duo Shulk and Ryan in, but yeah, I'm going to try out, uh, see what kind of power Dixon has. Yeah, cause some of these mech on are decently high level. Let's enchant my allies. And of course bit too late with that. Luckily, I can always do this. Break them. Alright, increase damage. Come on, we can get him, boys. Alright, one down. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, give him a slash. There we go. Alright, we're going up against this mech on next, it seems. Ah, uh, turned its head over right as I did that, huh? There we go, big hits. Take that. Ah, uh, if only I could unleash a... If only he wasn't facing me while I have the... Oh, now he's not facing me. Oh, he toppled! There we go, he's dazed. Now if only I had more useful arts. Wait, that was a miss? Alright, enchant again. And, okay, some of these remaining attacks should finish him off. What do you think of that? Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you do that? Those guys were pathetic. Yeah, that's. A <laughs> this guy has got a personality, but a very disturbing one. He's trying. Okay. This guy's really getting at him. This guy is really trying to make everyone angry. Oh no. He's gonna. Oh no. Wait, what's happening? A what? What is that? Wh Hit him. What? Oh, is he actually cutting through? He's cutting through! We must be outside the tower. Outside the tower? What? What? What is this vision? You will know the pain and suffering you cause the Emperor and Fiora. What is happening? Another one. Enough for me. You got lucky, Brat. Next time, your head is mine. You're not getting away. Get back here. Okay. So 
That's a lot of metal heads. Yeah, he's going down. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, what is that thing? Well, I know I'm gonna like this guy since he already went as far as to save my life. Of course, I'm gonna save my progress. Okay. A lot went down already, and we just started this episode. So these people know each other. Oh, they recognize them. Oh, <laughs> trying to have some style. Oh. Yeah, good point. Then again, that was cutscene driven. Hmm. Really? Wonder if we'll find more. Oh, well, we know they're useful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe a bit of extra grinding. Really? Is that where that was? Alright then. Let's get them. We better get them. Then... Yeah, just a little bit of extra grinding, so... We did have a bit of trouble beating them. Yeah. Yeah. At some sort of tower. That's right. We could beat him. Can you remember anything else from your vision? I remember a huge horn. That huge horn. As I fought Metal Face, I could see the Bionis head. So we're going all the way to the top of Bionis. Prison Island. I've never been. Really? Really? Ancient High Entia Race. Okay. Yeah, cause we, have you never been up there before? Well, yeah. That would make sense. Yeah, Dixon and Dunban, like, they know things well. Okay. That's nice to know. What about your partnership with Dunban?
Hey, he's just trying to enlighten the mood. Could. Yep, that's what I'd say. Get him, I say. Yeah. I've recovered a great deal since we last met. Wow, well, in le less than a year, too. Then again, he didn't wield the Minato for that long last time. Oh, so it's... May not as powerful as the Minato, but... So the true power of the Minato... can only be unleashed on something from that... Power on Prison Island. Oh, so we're going on a big adventure now. The lower back. The lower back. We're gonna have to go back to Tefra Cave. Around the waist. Satoral Marsh. Okay. Sounds interesting enough. Yeah, it makes it sound like he knows all, all his way around the place, but now I can uh, do some things. A lot of get. Okay, Dixon is now. It's a good thing I went with Dixon while I could because, yeah, now he's stuck as a guest. Though I would like to have Charla in my party. Although I'm sure it'll be nice to have Dunban in the party, um, I I would like to have Charla mainly because of the fact that she makes for a nice healer and a nice ranged attacker. So I think it'll be more useful to have Charla in the party rather than Dunban. And I I think throughout the entire game I would like to keep Shulk and Ryan as like our good old dynamic duo. Throughout the game, I think that's what how I want to go about the game. I know Duxon, er, no, not Duck. I said Duxon. What am I saying? I know Dunban has like some, you know, moves in him. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're in Colony Six. So we're okay. So we're kind of back the way we came. So this is. That's Colony 6 right over there, then. Or is that supposed to be Colony 6? Well, that's the mines of Colony 6, but I'm sure the main village area of Colony 6 is somewhere up ahead here. And, well, that's a new one. A Grom Nebula. Another ether based enemy, it seems. I don't think I'm going to bother with these Nebula-based enemies very much. Mainly because of the fact that... Um, as I've seen offline that whenever I go up against them, they always explode, and I don't think I get the XP from them if they explode before I properly beat them. So that being said, let's go... Oh, I am not sure if that aura I'm seeing is a good sign. I don't think that's a good sign. Okay, Landmark Misty Path. I'm not sure if that's a good sign. Nonetheless, um, Achievement, Seasoned Traveler, Kellish Wasteland, and the next story event is up here. Very nice looking place we got here. Satoral Marsh. Looks very nice. I'll give it that much, that it looks nice. What else do we got here? Just when we thought we've seen everything. Yeah, I'm with you on this joke. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Where are we going inside the Bionis, huh?
Yep. Okay. All right, well, let's go then. The only way. Do these people not have, like, helicopters or airplanes? Has that not been invented? I guess not, if... Okay, we got Acid Upa. Interesting type of enemy, though. It... I'm not gonna bother with anything like them for the time being. Though they look decently leveled... I can understand that they look, um, decently leveled. But at the same time... I would like to continue along with the main storyline. And, nope, never mind. They see me. We're gonna have to fight. Oh, 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 oh. Backstab them. Let's go. Oh, they resisted that? Alright, we'll take that then. Wait, guys, what are you doing over there? Did you get into a fight with that guy? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to fight the Aqua Nebula. So you guys just had to get... No, guys. Uh, uh, could, could we leave the Aqua Nebula alone? I would like to leave the Aqua Nebula alone, please. I don't care what you guys think, but... I would kind of like to leave the aqua, the um the nebula enemies alone mainly because of the fact that um we won't really get much of anything from them since they just explode anyway All right, moving on. How are we doing? Okay, we still got plenty of time. Like before, I still want to get to as many story events as possible. Yeah, a lot of this game has been a lot of fun so far. Okay, the Lacus Swamp. What are you doing in my swamp? Everyone look. What do we got now? It's a group of oh, that's what those entities are? Nopons? Uh, business? Uh, because they're on business. Why else? I guess we're going to take a look. The Nopon Merchant Camp. Oh, I think I'm supposed to be entering the camp from the bridge. Oh, this is the bridge. Alright, well, let's see what they're doing over here. Oh, so that's for like a side quest if we want to see what the merchants are up to. We have explored quite a bit of stuff seeing how we already have this much progress in our adventure. We've come a long way since we were in Colony... What is it with the game placing ridiculously tough enemies like in areas where weaker enemies are? That, I still don't understand. Also, what is the map doing with where I'm supposed to be going? Uh, what's up? Uh, group, story, member... What you, yes, I know where I'm supposed to be going. I did not mean to press that button. I'm following the radar with this. Okay, that's a wind, a wind nebula, level 26. Like I said before, nebulas really aren't worth our time. Fighter... A fighter Igna. What do the Ignas do? And how tough are they? There we go. Okay, we're leveling up to level 28. What, who saw us now? Alright, I guess we're facing another dual Igna. Let's go. Did 
take that. There we go. Well, what makes you think we're going to lose our heads in all this? I'm just trying to get some XP so we can level up. Okay, Fighter Igna's up ahead. I guess we're going to have to fight him, I guess. Yep, we have to fight them. We have no choice in this matter, it seems. Okay, looks like we got one. Take down the other. Oh, how is that not... Well, yeah, it's too easy, because... These guys are a bunch of jokers. I, I, I think the constant dialogues made me lose it at this point. Okay, crown tree. Oh, Copice quad wing. All right, you need to get down here so we can get some hits on you, buddy. All right, take that. He's aiming towards me now. Luckily, we got him. All right, onward. Let's see if um, we don't get involved with any more Igna business. Oh, how powerful is that? A cautious battle did. All right, well, like before, we don't need to get involved with these guys at the moment. I mostly just want to focus on advancing forward with the game's plot. And how far are we from the flagpole? We are still very far away. But I would like to continue forward with the story. So, we'll see where we go with this. And of course it sees me. Alright, take your attention elsewhere. And of course you move. Take that. And of course you have to put me asleep. Winged Cure? I think he cured himself. Oh wait, why did I... Um, a chain attack shouldn't be necessary for this. Listen, we're doing fine. We're not going to lose our heads to something as basic as this. That'll be for sure. And who saw us now? Another quad wing. I can't seem to ever notice where these quad wings are. Alright, turn your head over, please. And, of course, you turn over in a different direction. All right, top them. All right, come on, allow for a backstab. Take that. All right, where am I going here? We're going in this direction. Are we going in the waterfall? There's always, at some point in games that involve a waterfall, Sometimes it can be good secrets behind waterfalls. No? Alright. Just thought I'd take a look. Okay, Baron Moore, and of course we have more enemies. You know, I don't want to fight these guys. It's them that are attacking me, and it's because they're attacking me that I'm pretty much left with nothing else to do while... Oh, how are they dealing so much... Alright, that's one down, one to go. Oh, this one's level 25. That would kind of explain how he's dealing good damage to me. Nonetheless, though, we almost have him.
How many more am I gonna have to put up with till I get to the next story event? Okay, we don't need to go up against any nebulas. The nebulas don't really drop anything, so they're really not worth our time. How long is it till we get to the next story event? Feels like I've been moving on for a while now. And now we're going in... Oh, I see it. Right up ahead. And, of course, we have more enemies to deal with. More mad oopas. Oh, what? Also, where are they? Let's go. No, 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 no! Okay, this one in particular is specifically aiming for me. And, of course, you just have to do that. There we go. What is that noise that it occasionally makes? Alright, just deal with anyone that dares to attack me. It seems we're finally back on the path. We'll finally be able to, to advance forward. Is that, oh, is that one of the defense cannons? The High Entia. Really? The whole area. All of it. Yeah, but will it keep Mechon away? Also, there was that high entia, th or like, whatever that thing was, uh, quite nearby. <sighs> oh, that her death is still lingering. It. It's so peaceful. You know, so he still swine it. He still wants revenge for her death. He hates Metal Face. That Metal Head is going down. For sure. You will pay for what you've done. You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and the He wants him dead. Do you wish to change him? The future. Yeah, it. In terms of what he said from before, does. Oh, he still remembers. Yikes. That's right. Sorry I couldn't save you folks. Don't be. Yeah. Now I think about it. And that was when I found the Monado as well. This is really? crazy talk. But maybe you and the Monado are part of some higher clan. Maybe. But I know that my mum and dad left me it. The Monado was their final gift to me. Really? That's how I used to think of it. Right. That's why I want to discover its true power and help defeat the Mechon. Okay. But so far I've just been creating piles of Mechon scrap. So you don't just want to study it in a lab after all? This sword. That's right. There must be some way. It's going to have something to do with whatever we find at, on Prison Island. That's for sure. Sorry, guys. I didn't sleep a wink. Right then. Time to move on. How far now? 
Alright. The High Entia Ruins. So the place that the High Entia used to live here. Just up ahead. Oh yeah, just up ahead. And like the story event is all the way over there. Well, let's see here. Uh, how are we doing on time? I think we got a lot of good story um, stuff out of this episode, and considering the level of the monsters we're encountering at this point, I think I've found a good stopping point for this episode. And I say that because, one, um, I don't want to be under-leveled at a certain story point, like we may end up encountering a boss I didn't quite expect. So because of that, I would like to stop here so I can take some time to maybe explore around the uh, Satoral Marsh and do some exploring as well as some other stuff. Just so I can, mainly just so I can be a bit more leveled up there's still a lot of things I gotta do, specifically, um, uh, well, one, leveling up, two, I would like to take the time to, um, you know, figure more out about, um, the terms of, you know, how the party works, how equipment works. I think what I wanna do is, just to keep everything balanced out, I think I would kind of like to um, make sure everyone including reserved party members um, stay at a decent level so that way they're all well leveled up for the future so I think I'll do some leveling up with Dunban for the time being as well as with the others but with that I'm going to be ending this episode off here so with that, everyone, thank you very much for watching this episode. We made a ton of great story progress. We ma So we managed to de actually defeat a metalhead, mostly because I'm pretty sure it was because it was pushed into that ether river, along with the fact that we did manage to, f to uh, leave it uh, basically defenseless. But we've managed to defeat one metalhead, and now we know that, you know, there's clearly going to be more than one. And of course, there's the main metalhead, of course, Metal Face, that we are eventually going to have to take out, and we'll eventually be able to take them out once we unleash the true power of the Monado that we'll be able to find, apparently, on Prison Island. I mean, I'm sure I could just go straight to storming the mech on base, since I know it's possible to beat them, since, you know, all we gotta do is uh, store enough on the meter for a chain attack, and then just topple them over. I know that, you know, may be a bit tedious, but as long as we're at a decent level, I see it being possible. So that being said... I think just for story purposes, though, I guess I'm kind of going to have to have no choice but to head to Prison Island next. Um, it would be interesting, though, if it's actually possible to enter these areas, like, if it's possible to have choice. That would be very neat to, like, just go with charging straight in and take, instead of taking the easier route that may be a bit more long and tedious. That would be pretty cool, but I, I mostly just want to follow along with the story for the time being. So for the time being, I'll go ahead and take some more time offline to do some side quests along with, you know, taking the time to level up. So thanks for watching this episode, everyone. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And make sure to click the notification bell to stay notified of future uploads. And until next time, guys, this is the Gamer of Gamers, and stay excellent, everyone.